The guild master Jiralal took a pretty woman out for a nice dinner date. He is nervous but doesn't show it. The woman seems to like the restaurant, so he got that going for him. Jiralal is a man that reincarnated into this world after being an adventurer in his previous life. He was rewarded this second life by the gods as a reward for capturing a dungeon. Jiralal snaps back into reality from his flashback because the woman asks him if he has any hobbies. What is this supposed to be woman, a job interview or what? But Jiralal answers that he reads a lot about management and works out a lot. The woman asks to know about his non-work related hobbies. He doesn't really have any, as work is kind of Jiralal's hobby. They both sit together in silence and it seems like the woman isn't interested anymore. She gets up and walks away from poor Jiralal, ending the date early. Jiralal mumbles something about an errand that he has to run so he quickly gets out of the restaurant as well. Keep your head high king. Later that day at the Adventurer's Guild, the receptionist and an adventurer are arguing. The adventurer claims to have seen four ogres instead of two and wants more money for the increased danger. The receptionist is new and easily intimidated, so the adventurer keeps yapping. Luckily Jiralal shows up, he is the guild master around here. He asks the adventurer to show him evidence of the additional ogres. But the adventurer just yaps something about being in a hurry. Jiral doesn't take no shit from anyone and pulls out the real book. He tells the adventurer that he should have killed the additional ogres. But Jiral thinks that the adventurer is lying anyway so he doesn't pay him anything more than the five coins. You can't out hustle the hustler. A girl with two big personalities greets him to give the story more depth. Jiral thinks about his reincarnation, he has all the memories of his previous life since he was a child. He could have accomplished anything with that information but he wanted a peaceful life. Jiralal instinctually got a job in the Adventurer's Guild, he worked hard all day even on his off days. And after he worked his butt off, Jiralal became a guild master at 40 years of age. But he doubts himself and thinks he isn't normal as he is a virgin at his age. While he wonders if he will ever find love, Jiralal decides to grab a cigarette at the restaurant where he dated that woman from earlier. A waitress with two even better personalities asks if he is okay and sits down at the table with him. She asks Jiralal if he wants to buy cigarettes and says that she doesn't like the type he is smoking. The young waitress brings two unbeatable sales arguments to the table, but Jiralal doesn't look, as he is on the fifth day of his edging challenge. She smokes a cigarette and puts it in Jiralal's mouth, asking how it tastes. Jiralal doesn't really understand what's going on and mumbles something about chocolate. The waitress demands a silver coin for a cigarette smoked by her. The young maiden also proposes an offer to Jiralal. She wants to become Jiralal's lover if he would like to. She looks at him all cute, but Jiralal knows that these gold diggers are just after his money. Like a true Giga Chan he pays his debt and leaves the restaurant. Sad Jiralal walks back to his office as the receptionist tells him that someone wants to speak with him. It's adventurer Alicia, a cute blonde girl. She is a famous adventurer called the Ice Sword Princess, because she is the best with the blade in the whole country. Alicia greets Jiralal and asks if he would explore the dungeon with her if you know what I mean. Jiralal accepts and they immediately enter the dungeon, where dangerous monsters hide in every corner. Jiralal asks Alicia why she didn't form an adventuring party. But she just says that it's been a while since the two of them explored a dungeon together. Alicia cuts two goblins in half while they are talking. She makes it look so easy as if she was taking a fat <coughs> after eating spicy food. She asks Jiralal how it's going with him and his lover lately. Jiralal is so shocked from the question that he slips and falls to the floor. He tells Alicia the truth, that he doesn't have a lover. Alicia immediately asks if he would like to have a lover, someone give this thirsty girl a sprite. Jiralal expresses his immense desire to fall in love and to get married. After hearing this, Alicia gathers all her courage and asks Jiralal if he wants to go out with her. Just as Jiralal is about to answer, a slime monster wraps itself around Alicia's body. This is the new breed of monster inside this dungeon. Horny Jiralal watches for a couple of seconds before he takes care of the monster. He strikes once with his blade, cutting off the monster's tentacles and freeing Alicia. She falls and lands in Jiralal's arms just like in a romantic movie. Alicia blushes and expresses her thanks. Just as it looks like it's finally happening, Jiralal fumbles the bag and drops to the floor once more. He gets up and explains to Alicia that it wouldn't be fair to be her lover, in all honesty, Hess just too scared. Alicia really wants him but is way too scared to do anything as well. She just mumbles to herself that she loves him. But apparently she said it a little too loud. Jiralal asks if Alicia said something but she just runs away like a little girl. Later that day, Jiralal arrives at the Adventurer's Guild looking all tired. Lily, the big personality girl and Suzu, the even bigger personality girl from the restaurant greet each other. 
Suzu asks Lily if she wants to have lunch together as Gyrolov suddenly notices Suzu. He recognizes her as the waitress from the restaurant. Lily asks how they know each other and Suzu quickly makes something up and Gyrolov agrees. Suzu quickly leaves to get lunch as it appears that this situation is too weird for her. Gyrolov and Lily just stand there as she suddenly asks Gyrolov to go on a date with her. Gyrolov is completely shocked as he never had a date in more than 100 years including his past life. And now he is about to have his first date, and on top of that it's his young receptionist. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.